Hello ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages. But I have here a Lego Saturn V from the uh, Lego Ideas series and as many of you a Lego fan out there already know that this is part of the Lego Ideas um, sets that Lego produces and for my money this is the ultimate Lego Ideas set because it's so, it's really the the fantastic and um, I, I, I got it about a month ago and put it together and it is basically the Saturn V rocket, the one that helped to get astronauts to the moon in 1969 and it comes in three stages. You have the uh, S1C stage, the very bottom here which helps get it off the ground and boost the third the second and third stage and the said the second stage helps get to get the third stage along with the uh, lunar module and the command module into low earth orbit and this third stage enables it to uh, go on a trajectory to the moon i'll get into greater detail as i go along but Basically, this set consists of 1,969 pieces, and it's a coincidence that it's also the 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 amount of pieces or the year that the 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 Apollo astronauts landed on the moon, and so like 1969, as you may be all ready aware of. But anyway, without further do anyway this is the sash itself or the the rocket and it's a meter tall and you have the first stage the second stage and the third stage and you have right on the very top the command module where the three astronauts were perched in on top of the service module there and in there would be the uh, the lunar lander but we'll get to that soon. But anyway, it's 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 a big set and it, it it's quite a challenging set. But I, I mean, for someone like me, it was easy, but a very cathartic. But as you as you can see, it's it's a very big set. It's really something to behold. I mean, look at that. It's one meter of. 1969 pieces and it's just so big it's not so, like I can barely fit it on my shelves but you can see the the five F1 engines there at the rear and the tail fins it's a it's a very big set and basically if if, if for for those of you who are into uh astrophysics or into rocketry it's 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 a fantastic model to have and something you should not be without in your collection there are so many saturn 5 models out there from revel to bandai you might have heard of the bandai one and it's very detailed but the lego really it's something to behold but anyway without the rocket itself we're if if you've ever watched documentaries of the lunar landings, you already know that the first stage just burned for two and a half minutes before being discarded and falls into the Indian Ocean. But it lifts off from the Kennedy Space Center and basically the two halves just separate like that. Whoops, this kind of fell off. And that's the the J2 engines there and they basically separate like that and that falls into the it just falls drops away and now you just have the uh, the second and third stage and this helps get it into low earth orbit once that is done once that task is completed the, the second stage is also jettisoned and then you have the uh, third stage and you can see that the rocket gets smaller and smaller as the mission progresses. But here I have 
the little command module with printed details on it, if you'd hold it up to the camera there, you should be able to make out some details there on the command module. And then the uh, escape tower system is jettisoned, that just falls back to earth. And this here, now they couldn't make one that was smaller, that would fit in that, but it, it, it's just... Then you just had this on its trajectory to the moon. And here I have the uh, lunar lander, which is the uh, with the descent stage, and you have three astronauts there. Now, of course, three couldn't land on the moon. One had to stay in the command module while it orbited the moon. And that was uh, Michael Collins. You had three astronauts, of course. You had Neil Armstrong, you had Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. And Michael Collins would stay in the little capsule orbiting the moon. Now, so as it was on its way to the moon, that would separate. And this, of course, would be... Um, now, bear with me. This seems to not stay on. This would uh, separate. Now, of course, that would be completely uh, covered in there, it would be uh, like, and and what would happen would be these two uh, halves just fall away like that and the, it would turn around, dock with the, uh, it would dock with the uh, lunar lander and on its way to the moon and this engine would fire once they're close to the moon it would fire and slow it down so it's an orbiting the moon and the astronauts would enter the lunar lander this would separate and this would continue orbiting the moon and as this is descending the legs extended and of course the the this would then land on the lunar surface like so and once the mission was over the ascent stage would then separate and its little engine would separate it from the descent stage and this would dock with the, the command module once more and once they have all the rock samples and the astronauts board the command module, this would be jettisoned once more and crash into the moon and this would head back to Earth and once they're, <coughs> once they're um, on terra firma or near terra firma, this stage or the uh, service module would be jettisoned and there would be a heat shield there that would protect this from re-entry. Now obviously the set doesn't have a heat shield but it's, it's easy to imagine and then this would parachute into the uh, Pacific Ocean and you have here, you have here a little uh, place here now for um, the, it's a kind of a diorama and you have flotation devices here now and that's floating in the sea there and that would all be that that would all that would remain of the Saturn V that took astronauts to the moon so it's a pretty fascinating set and it's a very fascinating you know this is how we got to the moon there is no other way like it, 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 this is the a fantastic set that illustrates how we got to and from the moon like and it's just been a fabulous set and a very proud thing to do, have in my collection and one I'd highly recommend so well thanks again for your time and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it but it's just um, you know been you know, a, a very good set and uh, something, you know, that it's, it's, a, it's a good history lesson as well. So thanks again for, for your time and um, have a good one. <laughs>